all know it's important to get exercise, but sometimes you just don't feel like it. You think, where will I ever get the energy? Could it be they know something that I don't know? If they're like millions of Americans, they could have found their energy in a bottle. Four. Energy and sports drinks, a billion dollar a year industry. It's astounding what's for sale. Vitamin infused sodas, neon colored power drinks, designer waters, it seems endless. So how do you know what works and what doesn't? It's a pleasure, Doc. That one. Is it even possible to get energy out of an energy drink? I want to know. Athletes aren't the only ones gulping down these potions. People who are simply running the marathon of modern life are partaking too. Why? Well, we're a nation hooked on energy. We're so overworked, we turn to stimulants to help us get through the day. Well, that was a busy morning, wasn't it? What do you use to rehydrate? Most of the time, water. Water. Sports drink or water. Do you think the sports drinks help? I think they do a little bit. Not really. I think they have a lot of sugar in them. I'm not sure I've noticed the difference. It tastes a little better. Sports drink make you sweat. Is there anything else you use to get you through the day? Sometimes energy drinks really, really give me that boost. You start freaking out and, like, don't know what to do with yourself. You get so much energy, you just don't know what to do with it all. It didn't leave you sort of... Sort of wide or anything? No, it didn't. Do you know what the difference is between a sports drink and an energy drink? Um, no, because they both give you energy. All I need is a few good men, lean, mean machines, ready to volunteer for a good cause. At ease, gentlemen. Four distance runners have agreed to step up to the line. They're all roughly the same size and weight. They can all run seven-minute miles. Perfect lab rats. We're going to test four drinks. Water, orange juice, a sports drink, and an energy drink. But wait a minute. What's the difference between a sports drink and an energy drink? A sports drink typically contains sodium, potassium, and sugar, where an energy drink typically contains caffeine and sugar. I'm number one. Runner number one will be drinking no-frills tap water. We'll call him Mr. Water. I'm number one. Runner number two is assigned to the sports drink. We'll call him Mr. Sport. Runner number three gets the energy drink. We'll call him Mr. Energy. And runner number four gets orange juice. We'll call him Mr. Orange. And last but not least, I'll be the referee for the experiment, your Herculean host. On your marks, get set. It's gonna be tough. We'll send our lab rats running for a full hour and a half, each drinking their assigned fluid throughout. The last seven minutes, they'll finish off on the track, and we'll find out who's got the energy to breeze through the finish line. This is what I love about my job. While these guys are working up a sweat, I get to talk about sweat. When you work out, your heart rate increases, blood vessels dilate, allowing more blood, and therefore oxygen, to get around. This heats up your body. That's where sweat comes in. It's nature's air conditioning system. You've got millions of sweat glands all over your skin. And believe it or not, there's salts and water coming out of those glands all the time. When you exercise, there's just more of it. When sweat evaporates from the skin, it takes heat with it and cools you down. At this point, our lab rats should be getting hot, which means they'll start to sweat and lose salt and water. So which drink is the best replenisher? Who will get that extra energy? Who will win the race? So don't get up and go before you find out the best way to will. Get up and go! We're back here at the gym with our four long-distance runners, seeing which drinks give them the most energy and stamina. How are you feeling? Feel great. Yeah? Yeah. How's your energy level? Feels great. Feels really good. You can certainly feel the orange juice. It's a heavier drink. It sits in your stomach. Doing all right. Uh, a little dehydrated more than normal. A little bit thirsty. I've had, like, I don't know, I get cramps every once in a while. 
while those guys are burning up the treadmill, I'm going downtown to meet Dr. Pamela Peake. She's an expert on sports and energy, as you can see. What's her secret? We're sitting here, drinking our lovely colorful drinks, and um, we've got four guys sweating on our behalf. What do you think is going to happen? Well, water guy is not going to feel thirsty, but he's going to feel very weak and, and not energized because you're not getting your sugar back, you're not getting those electrolytes, you're just getting plain water. What's an electrolyte? An electrolyte is a fancy medical scientific term for a body salt. Sodium, potassium, they're fantastic to be able to allow your cells to be able to get those volts, that little charge between them, to keep your performance up. How do you think our orange juice guy is going to feel at the end of the race? Now, our orange juice guy is probably going to feel okay, but not well hydrated. Way too much sugar in there. Good news is, good sodium, very good potassium. How's the guy who's had the energy drink going to feel? At the end of the race, I think our energy guy is not going to do so well. I don't want to break anyone's heart, but in eight fluid ounces, all you get is a, a cup of coffee. Yeah. With 27 grams in many of these, let's say close to 30 grams of pure sugar. Right. That's about it, honey. So what you got is sugary coffee. I think he's going to miss those electrolytes. He's going to have that little boost in the beginning. He's going to poop out in the end. So how's the guy who's had the sports drink going to feel? And he's going to perform very well. Assuming he's got any talent, he's going to do really well. Because he's going to get a nice balanced drink that gives him back everything he needs. It gives him his energy. It gives him water. It gives him electrolytes. I got I got my money on the sports guy. Thank you very much. I'll let you race off to your next appointment. There we go. Thank you. Bye bye. See you later. Oh my god, I'm exhausted just talking to her. I'm back with our human lab rats who've now been running for over 80 minutes. For the final sprint, we're going to send them outside. Gentlemen, to the track. I love exercise. I could watch it all day. And coming into the final straight, Mr. Sport is gaining on Mr. Energy. Mr. Water is slowing to a trickle. Mr. Juice is running out of juice. They're coming into the final stretch, and it looks like Mr. Sport is going to do it. Yes, Mr. Sport wins! Mr. Water is second, Mr. Juice third, and Mr. Energy looks like he's run out of energy. And the crowd goes wild. Look at that Mexican wave. Mr. Sports, the winner. Thank you. How did the drink sit with you? It sat well. I never felt uh, uncomfortable or cramped or anything like that. Our expert actually predicted that you would be the winner. I got my money on the sports guy. Well done, Mr. Sport. Thank you. And so what happened to Mr. Energy? He gets the booby prize. This brings us back to our original question. Do energy drinks really give you energy? Well, yes, they do, but no more than a sugary cup of coffee. Oh, that is so sweet. Energy drinks typically contain caffeine and sugar. Both may give you a boost, but they can also prevent the absorption of water into your body. So you'll end up dehydrated. Not good for athletes. Mr. Water did pretty well, but maybe he didn't win because he wasn't replacing his electrolytes. Mr. Orange probably had too much sugar in his system. Sports drinks, on the other hand, replenish the salts you lose when you sweat. A good one has sugar for energy, but not too much. It's the best drink for serious athletes like me. Look, the bottom line is a sports drink is meant for sports. Mm -hmm. How simple is that? If you're an athlete, grab one. But if you're just a regular person who's just getting in that half hour at the gym, absolutely not. So there you have it. Regular folks, stick to water. If you're sweating up a storm, sports drinks will pay off, but don't down any energy drinks unless all you need is a wake-up call. So now you know.